Hello and good day. This is Corey from the Box Scholar YouTube channel and WellRoundedPianist.com. We are in the beautiful, very beautiful uh, Grace Lutheran Church in St. Petersburg, Florida. It is an LCMS church and we're, I'm just uh, giving you a little glimpse here of the beautiful, beautiful stained glass windows here. Uh, you see here at the, um, the uh, main altar here up front, the beautiful stained glass window there, and over here on the left. So these stained glass windows, of course, as you would probably guess, represent the, the uh, Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Beautiful church built in around the, I believe, the early 1960s. And we're coming over here to a glimpse of the organ. It's a beautiful pipe organ here. It is a Schlicker organ built in 1965. And I am currently the organist here at the Grace Lutheran Church. So good to be with you today. Um, let me tell you a little about myself. I have a YouTube channel, Box Scholar. Some of you might be familiar with it. It's all uh, pretty much mostly piano videos. I am by trade a pianist. I also served for 10 or 11 years as a church organist in another church several years ago. I took a hiatus, several years hiatus, uh, I believe around seven or eight years. I haven't even touched the organ and I'm getting back in, into the swing of things to uh, begin uh, my service here at Grace Lutheran Church as organist. Uh, what, what I'm here for you today is to show you two very nice publications for organists. So if you are an organist, uh, either an or organist, organ teacher, aspiring organist, pianist who wants to learn organ, I have two publications here. Uh, J.S. Bach, 24 Easy Four-Part Chorales. These are 24 of Bach's lesser difficult chorales that I have selected and edited selected and edited by me, and um, it is currently being printed and distributed by Subito Music Corporation. And let me just take you through this volume here. This is a must publication for organists. I think all organists need to have this book. A very nice table of contents which gives the origins of the uh, chorales or the hymns. Uh, selected here, the origins of them and which uh, um, cantatas they appeared in. And then we have, uh, what, what I have done here is I have, uh, I have taken the soprano and the bass line of the four-part chorale and I've put it here. So this is very good for beginners who are learning to read uh, two parts at the same time. And then I have the original chorale here on the bottom. Very easy to read manuscript here in traditional organ um, long-wise notation here. So there are 24 of these here, 24 easy four-part chorales, I think. Uh, if you definitely need this if you're an organ teacher or an organ student. You can learn the pedals um, in uh, these chorales. Also, the next must-have volume for all organists, especially organ students, college students, especially uh, in organ, piano, and theory, is my own sight reading and harmony. This is our best seller at Box Scholar right now. It is about 220 pages, spiral bound, beautiful book. It's also available in a, in a, a very high quality PDF or iPads, as is this also. So all these are also available in um, good iPad PDFs. Sight reading and harmony. This is, uh, the reason I bring this up for organists is, um, I've, you know, and I've been promoting this a lot on my uh, piano YouTube channel, but now that I'm, I'm here in this church with this beautiful organ, uh, let me just take you through this uh, a little bit 
Here, here's a typical page from the sight reading examples. Oregon students will love this book because they can, well, you know, what you can do if you're learning to play organ is you can, you have these, just one line. Each page is just one line of a, an excerpt of a chorale. And especially if you're learning how to play pedals, you can take especially the, either the grades five to six or grades seven to eight lines, and you can use these as pedal exercises. And it really is uh, quite excellent. It has 150 different Bach chorales here, all selected and edited by me. And this would be an excellent addition to your uh, organ literature that you already have if you're an organist. If you're a pianist aspiring to play organ, uh, you can just get this book and just practice just the pedals on here. Let me show you an example. I am going to, um, I'm going to open the, just going to play you a couple examples here. Sight reading and harmony. I'm going to open it up to page one and I have this set up already here. So I'm going to play uh, page one in part four. I'm going to play the pedal um, and from grade seven to eight. seven to eight line and I'll play with the pedal. Yeah, it's been a, been a few years since I've played, so I'm uh, getting back into the, uh, into the use of pedals, which I haven't done in several years. And actually, I'm using these myself, 24 easy four-part chorales and sight reading and harmony. I'm using these myself to practice getting back in the, uh, in the swing of playing the organ, which I love so much, especially this beautiful pipe organ in uh, Grace Lutheran Church. Uh, let me play you now to conclude uh, number one, uh, number one from the uh, 24 easy four part chorales. Two fine publications if you are an organist, organ teacher, pianist who wants to be an organ, organist, aspiring organist. Beautiful uh, spiral bound uh, editions here from Box Scholar Publishing. And I hope you can get your copy. There are links down below this video where you can get the hard copies printed and distributed by Subito Music, or you can get the uh, high quality PDFs, especially for iPads, on the Box Scholar website. All the links are down below, and have a good day, and until next time, thank you.